Hi everyone, welcome back again. So in this video, we are going to explore the e-commerce web application I built with Django some weeks back in the stand. So before I proceed, I love you, I love you guys to see this effect I implemented there. So I'll refresh this page right now. In the stand. So you can see we have this skeleton effect before the products get loaded. We have the skeleton effect there. You understand? So I, I was I, I wanted to show you guys that effect you get. So that is it now. Okay, let's go, let's proceed now. So I have my product here. Sorry, one minute. Okay. So I have my product over here, so I can decide I can come on I can come on board on this web application on this e-commerce and purchase items in the start. So currently, no currently the user currently nobody is logged in. Currently, I am on this application as an anonymous user. So I can come over here. I want to buy these shirts in the stand. So come up here. Nobody is logged in. You can see. No, there is no logged in user yet. So I can come on board here. Okay, I like this shirt. I need two of it. I just come over here, put two there, and click on Add to Cart, and it updates my cart. So let's do that. Click on Add to Cart. My cart has been updated, right? That's nice. Okay, so I can say, oh, I love this pair of shoe. I can come over here. Okay, I also need two pairs of this shoe. Let's say two. Let's say I need. Let's say I need two. One for myself and one for somebody. I want as a gift to a friend in the stand so maybe we are in the Christmas season now so I have to cut so I have four items in my cart I can also decide to come down here okay let me get this black shirt so currently I have four items in my cart four items right so let me get this black shirt let me just get one of it okay one is there already just click on add to cart and I have five items I'm like, okay I like this I can decide to like this particular shirt Let's click on the like button. Understand? Oh, currently I'm not logged in, so I need to get logged in, right? So I'm gonna log in as Sam. Sam has an account on the page now. Sam, let me log in as Sam now. And once I click on login, understand? Okay, Sam is back here, and Sam can like the shirt, right? So click on it. Nice. Sam has liked it. Okay, that's good. Okay, I can decide to go back to the pages. Let me like the shoe I got. So I've not gotten the shoe yet, but let me like it. Like, okay, that done. Let me like this shirt. Okay, I'm about to buy this product, so I need to just give it a like and stand like. Okay, I also like this, but uh, am I buying this? Let me like it and also get one of it. Get one of it. Two of it. Okay, let's say two. Okay, two of it. So currently we have, currently we have five items. Once I click on add to cart, we have seven items there, right? Okay, let's check out. Okay, this is my, I mean, let's see our carts, okay? Let's see how the cart looks like. Click on the carts icon. So, so right now, these, these are the items we have in the carts. Instance. So right now, these are, the items, these are the items we have on the cart, right? I can decide to say I need, I need, uh, let's say I need four of these t-shirts. Decide to say four. I can increase that to once I increase it, the price here increases and also the total price also increases. And the cart item also increases. So I'm gonna increase it by two more. Two more. Okay, since so we have nine items, the total price also increased. You can see four times a hundred is four hundred. I can, I, can, I can start to increase this also. You can see two times it two times two hundred is also four hundred, understand? So these are the stuff we have here. Okay, so I can decide to delete a particular item. So, oh, let's assume, oh, I don't have up to $1,400 to pay for these items. I can decide to remove, uh, let's remove, okay, let's remove the the t-shirt. Can I decide to come over here, delete it. Okay, I don't have, okay, delete. Okay, delete, okay, now it's gone. So now I can pay. For these three that i have the money for but before i proceed let me just check out something let's see our favorite item let's see what it looks like so this is uh, right now this is our favorite page you can see the effects is there okay i like i like uh, this favorite means these, these are the products i liked in a stand so favorite so this is okay we have four of them so these are the products i liked okay go back to your cards want to check out and make payments should I delete this? Should I? No, no, okay, let's leave that. Okay, time to check out, right? Check out. Okay, now, so you are required to put in your shipping address. 
so you, you can ship down the product to you, you understand? So, okay, I'm going to put in my address here, put in the, okay, let's put in some numbers there. Okay, let's just say zero. Okay, that's it. So I can proceed to make payments. Proceed to make payment. These are them. These, these are my other items. These, these are the items I I have in my cart. Understand? So I can proceed to make payments. So it's loading. So it's our address has been saved. So we are redirecting to the payments page. So currently I'm implementing pay stack. So click on success and pay. So we are paying a thousand for that. So it says successful. Let's click on OK. So we are going to redirect back to my profile. So we are going to get down to the profile page. So now here's my profile. So these are the so these are my, this is my order. So this, these are things I ordered for. This is the address. This is the contact information, the address, and the payment method. In instance, this is my profile. These are the product I ordered for. I can start to update my profile. There's no profile picture there. Let me give myself a profile picture. Okay, let's put this there. Uh, let's just put a random image there. Uh, let's use this. Open. Okay, let's just put an email for Sami. Sami at gmail.com. Okay, updates. Okay, let's put something there too. Oh. Okay, it's has been updated. The, uh, the image is not showing. I think I'm gonna fix that, but it's fine. So now I can see Sami has made purchase of his items and the cart has been set back to zero. The instance has been set back to zero. You get so now someone else can come on board, decide to make pay, can decide to like okay. This is still Sami's account. I can log out Sami. Someone else can come on board and Come on, come on board here and buy and purchase items in the stand. So this is how our e-commerce app is. It's not that it's not that it's a micro e-commerce application, a micro one. A kind of over let's put in two here. A gaming pad, add to cart. We have two of it there. Okay. Gaming two. Okay, you understand? So Everything works fine, right? So like a product, you must be logged in. If you're not logged in, we ask to log in. Let me log in as uh, let's say Ivy. We have Ivy on board. So Ivy can start to log in. Okay, okay, Ivy can like this product. Like, okay. Show me how to put in in a cart. You can decide to get one of these also. Okay, add to cart. She has three items. Let's see her favorite products. Her favorite. Okay, I've only has one item liked. Okay, that's fine. She can decide to make payments. Okay. She can decide to make payments. Okay, okay, okay. What is she gonna do now? I can start to reduce this. That's fine. I can start to delete it. Okay, I'm not buying again. I changed my mind. Our cart is empty. Okay, so this is our e-commerce application, so you can check it out. The e-commerce web app is currently live on the internet instance, so it's live. I'm going to put the link, I'm going to put the URL in this video's description, and I'm also going to put it in the comment section. You guys, so this is the source code over here. Our source code is here, but the source code is not going to be free. It's going to be paid for in the stand. So currently, this source code is going to be selling for $6. It's going to be selling for $6 if you're outside Nigeria. But if you're in Nigeria, you can get this source code for 3,500 Naira. You understand? So, you're going to have... So, for, so, 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 so for you to get this source code, I'm going to link... The, I'm going to put the link in this video description also in the comment section. So, the link to get the source code is going to be in this video description and also in the comment section. So, the source code is easy to understand. The function names, everything is super descriptive, and what is happening in the functions is super easy to understand. So don't be scared or worried about understanding. And don't worry. I'm gonna make a foot, I'm gonna make a full tutorial of this e-commerce web application on this channel. So in the coming weeks, so be expecting a full tutorial from me 
covering this entire e-commerce web application i would love to do that for you guys so get the source code now the source code is still selling on the cheap this currently the source code is still on a cheap price the source code is currently six dollars for those outside nigeria but if you are in nigeria it's going to sell for three thousand five hundred naira so get it right get it why it is still very cheap because in a few weeks time i am likely to increase the price of the source code in stand so Thank you for watching. Now, if you've not subscribed, if you've not subscribed to the channel, subscribe now so you don't miss out when I start pushing out the content for this e-commerce web application. So thank you for watching. So we'll see you in the next video. So stay blessed and bye-bye.